Okay, folks, I want to show you a little bit bigger cage that we use. And this is a cage now we're setting up here for some of our hypos that have gotten a little large, a little larger. So you can move those guys into um, a larger cage. So again, we set this up with the, with the rocks. Here, a little bit different style type of hut we use in the winter. That's a two box design. It's like two boxes sitting on top, one sitting on top of the other. And in between there, I can probably just show you easier than explaining, but in between here is a wire. See, they can't get up to where the light is. And that way, if I'm out here in the winter, oops, that's my head. If we get out here in the winter and, um, that was a good bang. If we get out here in the winter, I don't have to go inside the hut to, uh, uh, service the the heat fixture and again you know we're using that sterile white rock you know this reduces you know the possibility of fungus and stuff like that these guys get up on high on the branches here anyway so this is an eight foot this is a four foot by eight foot and then as these animals will grow then you know we'll we'll keep moving them to to some of the bigger cages we have is some just the process that you go through as the animals get bigger and bigger and I wanted to kind of give you some of the ideas that, you know, we use here. And we, oh, let me get that locked. So we use this latch system. You can see here, you pull it from the inside because I can't tell you how many times we've been locked inside. And then you just have a little hook here. I always use these hooks. All of the hooks you can see are set. And we use that yellow wire that's actually, um, weed whacker wire we use that yellow wire it, it stands up pretty good in the sun plus i like that bright yellow that way people can see that the doors are closed well that's a quick quick look at some of the different cages i have some more i'll continue uh, maybe i'll do some of the tortoise huts as well take care folks